Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast for what it's like. The main plot tonight was with Jenna and Connor. Now it started off with Claire and Allie giving Jenna a hard time about Connor being nerdy and Jenna takes Connor to get some new clothes after she tells him that she nominated them for King and Queen at the upcoming dance. Another Degrassi infamous dance. I'm sure some wonderful events uh, will take place there. Uh, He does eventually give in to the experiment that Jenna suggests And, you know, Jenna reveals that she wants people to respect them, and she says maybe they are right. You know, maybe people are right about thinking that they are a weird couple. And Connor reveals that maybe the problem is her, but then all of a sudden he gives in and does what Jenna wants. And then people start liking Connor now and asking for some math tutoring. Uh, And Jenna is a bit jealous of his new attention that he is getting. So, you know, this whole plot to me was not the most interesting. Uh, Connor and Jenna to me are probably two of the most boring characters on the show. Um, You know, they've had times together when they've been good and interesting. But, you know, tonight this plot did not do it for me. Uh, The subplot with Maya and Zig was much more enjoyable. It uh, started off with Miles and Maya being very happy and coupley uh, until Maya's laptop goes missing and she believes that Zig stole it. She follows him after class and Miles comes along also. They see Zig going in an abandoned house and then she has Miles leave and she alone goes to question him. Uh, she doesn't really find out much information and is ultimately confused. Miles is then upset because he believes that Zig could have hurt her. Now, Maya tells the rubber room teacher, Miss Girl, that Zig is living in an abandoned house. And then Zig reveals that his parents kicked him out. Now, there is not an exact reason as to why they kicked him out. But, you know, his change from good boy to bad boy, something along the lines there, uh, caused his parents to kick him out and Maya tells her mom that she wants Zig to stay at her house and then it seems that her mom says yes and Zig drops her in a trust fall a comedic moment of the episode when she reveals that he will have a place to stay and he will not have to stay in a group home um I did enjoy this plot I like Zig as a character and you know he hasn't really had much to do as of late and we've seen him change into this bad boy but we haven't really got to see you know why he did this necessarily or you know just just more plots with him so I really enjoyed this I always love Maya so I really did enjoy this subplot Now, the third plot of the episode was Becky and Imogen. Uh, We have a new female character, Jack, who was introduced. Uh, Becky briefly references last week, saying it's been hard at home. Of course, as we all know, her brother in trouble for what he did to Zoe in last week's episode. And, um, you know, this week we needed a bit of a breather from the intensity of of last week's episode and there still was you know a brief mention of it and we know that there will be ripple effects throughout the remainder of season 13 so that you know will be seen later on but we needed this sort of episode to break up the tension so becky is jealous of the new girl and imogen and how they bond um you know we had a fiona callback which is nice and uh, from drew and uh, Becky and Drew is eating candy and you know it was it was a light funny scene I really like Becky and Drew together I think they have some good chemistry I like Becky and Imogen together um, as well but eventually at the end of the episode uh, Becky sort of ends up on a date with Imogen or at least that's what Imogen thinks it is but it's really not Uh, Next week is the dance, of course, and all these plots will play out and conclude on next week's episode. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening, and make sure you tune in to next week's podcast.